Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. Welcome in this new video. Today I'm giving you some tips to start with the gouache painting. Let's start with the first tip. As a beginner, you don't need to invest a lot to start. When you're starting a new medium, the objective isn't to be afraid of using it, so don't invest all your economies on some professional art supplies. There is some decent quality price alternative gouaches. However, don't be fooled by the least expensive gouaches. The problem when you choose the least expensive products is that sometimes the quality is so bad that you will hate the medium. But it's not because of the medium, it's because of the poor quality of the art supply. The cheap gouache has a really bad covering and can also have bad texture, so you won't enjoy using this kind of paint. If you can, try to choose a medium quality with a decent price to be able to enjoy gouache painting without getting broke. Then, when you will start to paint, try to avoid putting too much water in your gouache. The gouache is really opaque and it's used as an opaque paint. If you're using it with a lot of water, it will lose its opacity and create some weird textures. There are some great artists who plays with that, but as a beginner, I don't want my painting to look funny if it's not intended. So to find the right amount of water to add, you should try to add one drop at a time, just to avoid the stickiness of the paint and to smooth it but you don't want to have something too watery as well. Okay, but now what do I paint? If you're not used to paint, try to start with some shapeless paintings because the clean shapes are complicated to do. And you can also do some really beautiful paintings without being precise in it. The organic shapes are quite easy and interesting to paint. And plants are one of my favorite subjects of all. So I started by that. Don't hesitate to start with something that you're comfortable with. Then you will have to create your colors. Most of the time when you're starting a new medium, you will have a set of classic primary colors or colors that you can use to paint some realistic paintings. It's easy to mix the colors and create an infinity of variations. But even if you have the possibility to create some colors while you're painting, you should select in advance a restricted color palette that will allow you to focus on contrast and shapes and not being distracted by a thousand of colors. So you can select between three and five colors and focus on the composition and the contrast of your painting. You will be able to add some dark and light in these colors once they're set. To choose the color, you can start by some colors that you like or select some colors for the atmosphere that you want to give in your painting. Don't hesitate to try some new things. And finally, one of the things that bothered me the most when I started to paint was that if you're using some thick brushes, you won't be able to do some clean detail because the details that you will be able to make depends on the size of your brushes. And I always thought that I wasn't able to do some cute things in my paintings because I wasn't able to do that until I bought some tiny brushes. And then I discovered that you can do a lot of tiny details with some adapted and tiny brushes. And that's it for today. I hope that these tips will help you. Don't hesitate to tell me in comments if you have some questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!